Hello, NJ Route 22.com here with another, I almost sat on my headphones, with another supermarket roundup for January 4th, 2019, our first one of the new year, NJ Route 22.com. So each week we talk about these flyers. Uh, I just wanted to remind everybody, I haven't uh, talked about this in a while, but the most supermarket sales start on Friday with the exception of ShopRite, which starts on Sunday. So that being said, we said in the past that we're not shopping at Stop and Shop anymore. We just hate the general overall quality of everything there. It stinks. However, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to still scan their flyers to find some things that are, are a better deal than the other places. Typically, um, non-perishable stuff, you know, maybe some, some water or perhaps some paper products or maybe even some vitamins. I think they had a, a deal on uh, <clears throat> certain brands of vitamins, which I don't know how their regular prices are compared to a place like ShopRite. Um, but I am going to check it out because I'm just curious if I could save a few bucks uh, if they're, because uh, I buy things like cinnamon. Cinnamon, you really need to take cinnamon every day. Uh, that's not cinnamon, that's turmeric, but um, cinnamon, you, you want to help uh, speed up your weight loss process. Cinnamon is, is your way to go. Um, I think it stains your bed sheets though because I think I sweat cinnamon. Anyway. So we're not writing them off entirely. We're gonna see if we could find any way to save money at Stop and Shop. So I just wasted a minute and a half on that. Kings, last week had a good deal. I'll show you, I saved it. They had, a, it's still on sale, well I guess, uh, I'm, when I'm filming this now. I'll probably go to the store tonight. This, I'm filming this on Thursday. And I, I may pick up some more uh, Bell and Evans. That's a great deal, $3.49 a pack, it's unheard of. And I, I think I may want to try out some of these uh, hot sausages. But that, uh, that's, that sale is going to be over by the time you see this video. Uh, nothing really great this week at King's. Um, they had an okay deal on the, on the LaCroix. They always have a pretty decent deal. We drink that regularly here. That's a, that's a fun little drink to have, especially with our Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzers. And they also had an interesting, uh, I'd like to taste it because I haven't given them a shot yet. I eat mostly ground beef these days and $3.99 a pound for 80%. Um, it's not Angus, but uh, that's a good price. Uh, it doesn't beat the $1.79 you get at Aldi, uh, but I want to see if the quality is better than Aldi. And again, we at Bishop's uh, in the White House IGA supermarkets, we don't really ever really see anything like worthwhile in their flyer to go there for, but they have good prepared food and we like to support local uh, businesses uh, regularly. So even we'll find things here that, that work out for us. Again, I always include a Ocean State job lot in my little roundup here because um, they have exceptional deals a lot of time. They call, they're called crazy deals, where you can, if you buy something that you can use and you need, uh, you usually get it for free and you can use your little credits for other things that you need. Such, I buy a lot of Yogi tea at uh, Ocean State Job Lot, so I, I'm getting that stuff really cheap. But uh, here's something I, I pick up frequently at, the, well not frequently, but occasionally. The, I, I'll buy like a t-shirt or some kind of um, throw around shirt to wear around the house when I'm uh, doing work around here without messing up. And they're, and they're pretty good, you can, you can find some pretty good quality stuff there and if you ever need windshield washer they got it cheap there too um it's better than paying five bucks at the gas station so that's that for that and uh, we're on the second week of the can can sale the whole store of Shoprite is uh, filled with canned goods uh, most of which is is not good for you especially soups i mean they're loaded with just bad salt and they have bad sodas. I, I hate to be a negative ninny here, but most of the stuff they sell is not good for you. Even though you eat it and you like it and you think everything's great, and most of it's not healthy. Um, so we, we try to find the things that are you know, core good for you. Not, and it doesn't have to be organic. It just has to be not blood sugar raising. That's, that's really a big, big deal. So I'm going to flip through this really quick here. Maybe I can get done in less than six or seven minutes. 
You know, beans are good to have on the shelf. I don't eat them that much because there's just too much protein in them. Um, but they're good to have for recipes and for the kids and, and stuff like that. Uh, let me see what else I found this week. I scanned it rather quick. The can-can sale really throws me off here. I mean, I can't... You could say what you want about hot dogs, but I think they're one of the best, also one of the best foods. Sodium nitrate and all. And they got Sabrettes and, uh, and Nathan's. I'm looking... And ShopRite bacon's okay. I, I'm going to do a little story about the Aldi uh, thick cut bacon, that, which is really, really <laughs> unbelievable. And we're going to do a whole re uh, episode on bacon in the future on our kitchen zone. I think I've discovered a good way to cook bacon um, that comes out perfect every time. But yeah, hot dogs, hot dogs are very high in fat. And if you don't eat them with the bun or any other garbage, I mean, you have two or three hot dogs and, and you're just good for, for pretty much the whole day. And they're delicious as hell. That's one thing, I mean, maybe they put some sort of, um, what do you call it, mind-altering drugs in there, because I really could probably eat eight hot dogs. Uh, and I'm not gonna join any hot dog eating contest anytime soon. So here's a, uh, I already found a reason not to go to King's specifically for anything, because they have the LaCroix uh, uh, starting on the 6th uh, for the same price, two for seven. Actually, two for 6.98, if you really wanna save two cents. Um, I don't know what this is. This is interesting. What's this? Bubbly, boobly. I'll have to read the can to see if it's uh, unhealthy or not. But if it tastes good, you never know. I may give it a shot. And here's something that I am considering because, I mean, this Kimberly Clark products. We use the Cottonelle and, and the Viva. I mean, I don't know if I can spend 25 bucks on these paper products, which we always obviously use, uh, but it's, it's like saving 20%. So if I'm running low on, on any kind of paper products, I may, I may uh, take the plunge. And I was debating whether these uh, care cleansing cloths, pop-up towels and hand towels, I mean, they're disposable. And if you're just drying your hands, I usually let them dry, uh, I don't throw the, the paper out, I just keep it on the counter and let it dry and I'll use it again for something else. Um, and they have a sale on Re Reynolds Wrap, which you know you can't, you can't deny it. Even the, the no-name brands are, are nowhere near as good as uh, Reynolds Wrap. It seems to hold up better. It's one of those things where the, or the, the off-brand doesn't really work. And I wanna say this again, that uh, I say no to the Beyond Meat Burger. It, there's MSG in it, it's ridiculous. It, it overcame me. I'm not, 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 not happy with that. The, it's fake food. Uh, I'm, I'll stand by that because I know exactly what happened to me when I ate them. And that's why everybody's loving them. Um, and I think that's it, they, uh, I don't know, Chore Boy. I, I like this brand, um, sponges, but they're half price. Always good to have them because they get all rotten and they have to throw them out. Like I said in the beginning, I am going to check out to see how the core prices for Nature's Bounty Vitamins uh, compares at, at Stop and Shop, and I doubt I'll I'll be surprised. I mean, if it's a dollar or two savings, sure, but I mean, if it's only a few pennies, I'm not going to bother. And I think that's it for this week's uh, supermarket roundup. I hope everybody has a nice weekend and try not to eat poorly. Uh, it's not easy. Meat, meat, meat. Eat meat.